How to cook a real Cossack kulish. Kulish is an ancient dish of the Cossacks, which is not subject to modern classification. Among the soldiers, such food was more derivative in nature due to the ease of preparation, calorie content, and benefits. Due to the ingenuity of Cossack cooks, many recipes were acquired, and after the Cossack age, domesticated versions were added. From such a large number of cooking methods, it is worth separating those that were most often used, or probably were, during military campaigns. Such a variety will be a real derived kulish, which is now commonly called Cossack. The easiest way to prepare Cossack kulish is from four ingredients, millet, lard, water, salt. And in the campaign, they actually used what was at hand or could be obtained in the forest in the field, or in the river various game, fish, wild garlic, mushrooms. Cossack Kulish Recipe Half a kilogram of lard One pig tail One kilogram of pork ribs One kilogram of pork Half a kilogram of carrots Half a kilogram of onions. Five liters of water. One kilogram of millet. Three bay leaves. Three cloves of garlic. Ground pepper to taste. Salt to taste it. One bunch of parsley. One bunch of dill. Preparation. For convenience, it is better to wash clean and cut fat, meat, carrots, and onions before starting cooking fat meat. Onions into cubes approximately 2 by 2 by 2 centimeters, and carrots into rings and half rings, no more than 1 centimeter thick. Wash and chop parsley, dill, and basil. Millet should be washed until the water is clean. Thus, there will be more time for monitoring the level of redness of products. The first process. Put the cauldron on fire. Next, we will add the products one by one with a small interval. You must not forget to stir them from time to time so that they do not stick to the bottom or walls of the vessel, even if the frying process has turned into a stewing process. We throw the chopped lard into a heated cauldron and fry until all the fat comes out. We add the whole tail and ribs cut chopped, it doesn't matter, the main thing is that it fits in the plate and can be distinguished from the meat fry until half done, then throw in the cut meat and wait for it to be partially ready. Then we add chopped carrots, 10 minutes later onions. Cover with a lid and simmer stirring from time to time until the carrot becomes soft and the onion releases juice. The second process. When the carrots and onions are ready, add water and bring to a boil. While boiling, throw in three peeled garlic cloves, three bay leaves and washed millet. After that, it is better to reduce the fire a little and constantly stir, lifting the millet from the bottom of the cauldron so that it does not burn to the bottom. Millet boils quite quickly in about 10 to 15 minutes, then let the dish boil for another 5 minutes. Next, you need to remove the cauldron from the heat, add salt and pepper to taste, pour chopped dill parsley cover with a lid, and after 10 minutes you can enjoy this unique dish. Bon Appetit!